Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Donnie and today we are going to show you how to make a histogram in MS Excel. So a histogram is a bar graph chart kind of uh, presentation of data wherein your numbers will be bucketed into several ranges of numbers. It is generally used to summarize data within a certain interval scale. So for example, here we have names of employees and we want to find out how distributed okay, we have our employees based on their age. So we want to find out how many employees are from 20 to 25 years old, how many employees are within the range of 26 to 30, 31 to 40, and so on. So a histogram is a good way to present that kind of information. Now, in the latest version of Excel, you can actually do this automatically, and that's what we're going to show you first in this video, how to do that automatically in Excel. So if you support an Excel version that is quite new, if you go to insert, one of the kinds of chart that you will see there is the histogram chart. And this actually makes things easy. If you have this, then you can simply click on the histogram and you're good to go. But before that, make sure that you click any one cell in your range of data or control A if you don't feel like just clicking any one cell and then insert and then choose the first histogram wherein we now have created the histogram automatically. So as you could see, we have bars here and we have them separated based on intervals of 12, as you could see here in the axis. So let's try to modify this. Maybe let's have a different look on how this histogram will look like. So the first thing that we can control would be the color. So if you want to differentiate between your um, histogram, you can choose your colors from the chart design tab. So just click on any cell here, go to chart design and change the color if you want. If you want to put some gap in between your bars, then you can also do that by choosing this design over here, okay? Or we can also do that manually, and maybe that's the best way to do it. If you know how to do this manually, then you can modify it uh, based on how you want it to be. So let's right-click on one of the bars. And that's actually quite important to right click specifically on the bars, not anywhere else in the chart. You have to right click on one of the bars and then format data series. This will pull up your format data series uh, tab or pane on the right side, wherein you will see that the gap width is currently at 0%. So we are going to put some gap into our chart so that we can see uh, the, the bars uh, individually or separately. But take note that the first design that we had wherein there's no gap is also one way to present a histogram. Actually, some people prefer that kind of uh, layout or design. But other than that, we can also change the buckets that we have in our histogram. So here, we're currently dividing them into 12. So we simply have to click on the axis and you will see that the format axis pane will update on the right side. And just in case you don't have this, you closed it for some reason, remember that in order for that pane on the right side to show up, you simply have to right click on the axis itself and then choose the format option for that part of the chart. So I have here format axis this time because I am I right-clicked on the axis itself. So now we have the format axis pane on the right side. Now the option here says bin width, and this is actually the one that determines the buckets okay, in our um, chart. 
So here we can change it. For example, instead of having it by 12, we want it to be by 5. So we can change that and then hit enter. And you will see that our histogram updated showing us the intervals of 5 instead of a while ago we have 12. So as you could see here, we have this many people in the 16 to 21 range. And then we have this many people in the 21 to 26 range and so on. We can bring in data labels if you want. So we can click on the plus sign here and then check the data label so that you will see the count for those uh, bars. And then if you also want, you can make the grid lines disappear if you don't need to see it. And if you also don't want the axis on the left side, then you can also just uh, remove okay, the axis using this button here. So go to axis and then uncheck the primary vertical axis. But if you prefer having them visible in your chart, then just check them as well. So now we learned how to change the buckets. So let's go back uh, to that format axis pane. And one more setting that you can modify in your histogram is the overflow bin and the underflow bin. So this tool will control like when should the chart start saying less than this age or greater than this age. So maybe better to show that. So let's start with the overflow bin. I will check it and I will change this number here and I will say that anyone who's beyond 60 should go to one chart or one bar. So you see that we now have here greater than 60 and it sort of like ignores the interval from that point on. On the other hand, the underflow bin does the same thing, but it's for those who are lesser. So let's say I want an underflow bin of people who are below or equal to 18. And as you could see on the left side, we now have the uh, less than or equal to 18 being in one bar. And then that's technically it. And if ever you have some things that you want to change, you can simply go to format, like you want to highlight specifically one of them, like right click here and then change the color. You can do it as if it's just a regular chart. So totally up to you what you want, what you want to do or what you want to showcase in your chart. But that's it about histograms. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Also, we would appreciate if you could like and subscribe our video or our page. It really helps us um, in creating more videos for you. For now, that's it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.